morning. Oh no. What? Why are you like this? We never get no white soap when we move house. We just did our first roller coaster with a mask on. You have to wear a mask. Good morning everybody, hello, hi, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my Agatha Sneeze. Welcome back to my channel, do excuse me. Today is Saturday, I'm gonna be doing a full weekend vlog and it's a bank holiday in the UK currently, so I'm gonna be doing Saturday, Sunday and Monday. What so a you... bonus day! <laughs> Three for the price of two. You get an extra day chucked in, in there. Uh, God, I sound like a salesman, this is dreadful. Hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely week. It'll be September by the time this goes live. Do excuse the bed hair. I mean, we're just working with it. Yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely week, whatever you're up to. And do join us for what is hopefully going to be a lovely bank holiday weekend. We haven't got a lot planned. Today is Saturday, as I said, we're having a chill day. Zara's going to a birthday party this evening. So it's going to be me this evening. I'm going to do some editing, make some dinner and have an early night. <laughs> Sounds very exciting. And then um, tomorrow, we're actually driving to somewhere called Southampton, which is... Oh, I think it's about, isn't it like an hour and a half away from London? Hour and 50. Hour and 50 away from London because our friend Curtis has just got a new job. He's relocated, so we're going to go and help him assemble some furniture. I think we might be doing a bit of painting. Yeah, painting. Sorry if I sound really nasally as well. I'm quite congested this morning. Yeah, we're going to do some paint. We're going to do some furniture assembly. So that's going to be exciting for you Stick guys. Stick on tiles. Stick on tiles. We're going to be some DIY because our flat's all done. Interior skills. <laughs> uh, and then Monday, we go to Thorpe Park, which is a theme park, like a roller coaster park in London, well, outskirts of London. So it's very exciting. So um, yeah, come join us. Grab a cup of tea. It's going to be a lovely one. It's currently, oh my God, we've had such a late morning today. It's 10.30 in the morning. So my we're gonna... organs are eating each other. I'm that hungry. <laughs> We're gonna make some breakfast. We're gonna do a proper weekend brunch. We've got some sausages, uh, some baked beans, eggs, avocado, all that good stuff. You know, we're sitting for a house, so we can't afford these expensive brunches out. So we're gonna go get cracking with that. Dealing with the London rental, we have a leaky tap. Yeah, but at least it's not our issue. Like when we move, this is our issue. It's I know. Trash <laughs> yeah, we need to try and sort this out. I um. No, that's what a contract is for. Though. Oh we Christ! Pay extortionate rent for this to be fixed. I mean, that just looks complicated and something I don't really want to get involved with right now. Right, let's make some breakfast. So we've rearranged our cupboards to make them a little bit more. I'd say organised. I just did this while I was waiting for breakfast to cook. So we've done glassware in the middle now and then this is kind of like porcelain. So this is like miscellaneous stuff I use for when I'm taking photographs for any work or jobs I'm doing. Um, these are our coffee mugs and these are our tea mugs. Um, and then we've got uh, regular glasses, small glasses, our smoothie glasses, fancy glasses for cocktails, again for photos, wine glasses, champagne flutes. I feel like it just looks a little bit more organised and that makes me very happy. Breakfast is served. We've gone for two poached eggs with some smashed avocado and two vegetarian sausages on a breakfast muffin. And we are watching Selling Sunset. We're so late to the party because this is brilliant. It's total like reality TV, like American trash TV, but it's a lot of properties on there. So I'm kind of watching it for that, but I'm very much enjoying it. I'm going to dig into this. Oh, and service with a smile. Thank you, Sarah. There's been a spillage. <laughs> Why are you like this? Well, actually, Luke, I spilt espresso martini on this last night, so it's probably time it went in the wash. This just confirms it. Smile. Hmm. We never get no white soap when we move house. Ever. No, I can have one. You can't. You can't be trusted in <laughs> spilling things. My tea launched it to the floor. So we finished our breakfast and I've just taken a shower and this is today's attire because it's a really gloomy day out and I just, you know what? Sometimes you need a day where you just have a complete relax, a complete unwind and you stick in comfy clothes. So this is what I'm living in. Do excuse the wet hair. I'm also going to do my laundry today. So I'm going to strip my bed sheets and clean sheet those ready for the weekend, which is not a fun task, but it has to be done. <laughs> I 
also have some new additions to our living room. My friend Sam has recently just moved house and he was downsizing so he was giving a lot away to charity. So I helped him move and he very kindly let me take home a couple of pieces. So these two new cushions are very lovely. They're kind of like neutral pom-pom style cushions but I really like them. I think they're kind of like white neutral tones work really well with this armchair which we absolutely love. And this gigantic yucca he actually didn't have room for in his new place so he very kindly gave it to us along with this wonderful wicker style basket that's actually made for plants because it's got like a um, waterproof plastic liner. Let me show you. you can kind of see it in there. I think this was from Ikea. Um, it's kind of not loving life at the moment with like the brownish leaves but he says it should come back to life. So if you guys have any tips on how to look after yuccas do let me know because this is a beautiful one and it's ginormous. We also are still watching Sun and Sunset. It's very addictive if you haven't seen it yet. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, but we went to Burford around, I'd say like a month and a half ago, and we picked up this ivy and touch wood, it's actually doing really well. This is probably the longest I've ever kept ivy indoors. It's really, really thriving. It's got lots of new leaves, which is fantastic. I think because it's getting diffused light and we aren't over watering it. The other one in my bedroom is doing really well as well. No brown leaves. I'm very impressed. So well done Burford. You make good ivy. <laughs> and we've also relocated this plant which used to be over here to make way for the yucca. So as you can see it's very green <laughs> but um, yeah this plant is absolutely loving life as well. We replanted it so it's in a new pot and yeah, no brown leaves as of yet, only new ones that are approaching, which is fantastic. They all seem to be really thriving, nice and green, so that is a positive. We maybe have saved this plant and hopefully it'll start to get some new leaves, but it's looking really cosy over there now. Obviously, we've just been sat there. It doesn't look the most beautiful, but yeah, it's very, very green. It's like our little green jungle. changing bedding is an Olympic sport and should be qualified as physical exercise because good lord the effort it takes I need to take this off today has been one of the most Sundayest Saturdays I've had in a while and it's been quite nice. We have literally done nothing, haven't left the house. It's been quite nice. We've literally watched nearly all of the episodes of season two of Silent Sunset. It's a dream. It's what? Episode eight. Episode eight. Oh, Zara's all dressed up by the way. She's just behind me. She looks lovely. Look at her there. Um, yeah, she's off to a friend's birthday party. It's going to be, it's in a garden, right? It's in a garden. Yeah, yeah. Like a, what do you call it? Gazebo. It's in a gazebo. Yeah. It's like a big tent. Um, so I'm going to make dinner this evening and I'm going to crack on with an edit for YouTube. So that's going to be good. I'm doing a risotto. Um, it's a recipe that I make all the time. Super tasty. But yeah, we haven't really done much at all. It's been cracking on with a bit of laundry. Oh, Do you know my what else stuff. I'm doing? What? I'm going to make me a hot chocolate while I drive home. A hot chocolate? For my arrival home. I'll be in bed. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. No, you won't. Your dress is very nice. Do you want to tell everyone where it's from? Pretty little thing, but it's sold out, so you can't buy it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm bringing the appearances down. I look like I just look very casual today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make a risotto, edit some videos, and then probably just have an early night and make you a hot chocolate. What are you up today? No. Oh. <laughs> so these are all the ingredients you're going to need. It's consistent of a leek, some celery, some red onion, or you can use white onion if you prefer, some frozen peas, some vegetarian parmesan, two stock cubes, We've got some risotto rice, this is just the classic arborio rice. We also have some good quality olive oil, a nice dry white wine. We've got some butter that we're going to saute everything down in. And then these are some dried portini mushrooms that I've just rehydrated with some kettle water. That's why they look so dark. And then some thyme. And that is it. It's a really good risotto recipe if you've just got things lying around in your cupboard that you need to use up. As long as you've got rice, you can add whatever you want to it. So I'm going to get cracking. So I'm just sweating down the red onion, leek and celery and I put a bit of salt and butter in the pan as well. This just needs to soften down and then I'm going to add the risotto rice. Okay, so now that the onions and celery and leek have softened, I added in some of the thyme, just chopped it up. I also forgot to mention garlic as well, I added in one clove of chopped up garlic. And then I'm going to add the risotto rice. So this is um, classic arborio risotto rice. 
We're going to add the whole container in. It's about 100 grams in total, so not a lot. Um, this is probably going to be way too much for one person, but you know, I like my risotto. And you've just got to cook this out for around, I'd say like two minutes, two to three minutes, just to get the rice hot and allow it to make contact with the base. And then that's when you start adding in your flavor. So we're going to pour in some dry white wine and cook that off, which just gives it an amazing taste. And then add in some stock and you ladle it in a spoonful at a time so it doesn't swamp it. Okay, so I've added in the white wine and I've just cooked it all off. The smell is amazing, preferably a dry white wine if you have it, guys. And now I'm gonna add in the porcini mushrooms. I'm gonna add the liquid as well, and this'll add as like the first ladle of stock, so it's gonna pour that directly in. Cook that off, and then we can ladle in the stock. Rice will absorb the water. Don't be worried and thinking this is never gonna make a risotto, trust me, it will. So once your risotto has kind of absorbed the majority of the uh, like liquid that the shiitake mushrooms were in, if you're using regular mushrooms, you can just go straight in and add your stock. So we're looking good there. It's kind of nearly all absorbed. So the stock that you do add has to be warm, otherwise it won't emulsify properly. So it's gonna give that a little stir. And then we're gonna add one ladle full directly into the pan. And then just stir that in and continue to do that until the rice has a nice bite to it, but it's fully cooked and it's beautifully creamy. Okay, so the risotto may have gone a brown color, but trust me, it is tasting amazing. I've just added in the frozen peas. I'm gonna grate in some Parmesan, a little bit of butter, and then it's ready to serve. So it's a dinner for one this evening, folks. That is a hefty bowl of risotto. Like I said, do excuse the color. It's gone quite brown with the dried uh, shiitake mushrooms, but I paired it with a glass of French rosé, and I am going to dig in. Fantastic. <laughs> My God, this risotto is 10 out of 10. If I do say so myself, I will link a similar recipe. I don't really follow a recipe, but I'll link a recipe down below if you want to give it a try yourself. Um, Zara's gone to her friend's birthday party now, so I'm just sat in the flat. And as lovely as it is living in London, and of course, it's bank holiday weekend, and everyone is, you know, out and about, I guess. Um, well, the majority of people are. Obviously, hopefully, still social distancing, but you are allowed in restaurants and bars and stuff now and obviously when you're saving for a house <laughs> that kind of gets wiped from you and I know obviously there are a lot of people out there who are still choosing to stay indoors and that's absolutely fine but yeah you've all you've got to make your sacrifices here and there haven't you so I'm opting to not um, do anything this evening I'm just gonna stay in and yeah this is this is the house saving journey now <laughs> and we had everything in for a delicious dinner and I am having a cheeky glass of French rosé as I said so it's not all bad it's quite nice I'm so, I don't even know I don't even know why I'm lying because I am such a house person like house home life is where I am most comfortable so yeah I'm not complaining at all I'd rather be inside nice and cozy having a delicious glass of wine than out in the miserable London weather. <laughs> um, I'm not really going to do anything else this evening, guys, other than watch a bit of TV, edit my YouTube video, and go to bed. So um, I'll catch you tomorrow, which is going to be a very eventful Sunday because we're going to be driving to Southampton to give Curtis a little bit of a hand with his house, which is going to be lovely. So I'll see you in the morning. Hey everybody, good morning, good Hello. morning, good morning. Oh no. What? He's got on my shorts too. Will that come off? Do you want to go and quickly stain wash and put them in the no, washer? No, no, Are you no. sure? It's like a little bit of tea. Good morning. It's just gone 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning and we're already up dressed. As you can see, my hair hasn't even really washed. Uh, dried, sorry. <laughs> we're on our way to Southampton this morning. We've set off super early. Well, we're about to set off, but we're going to get there super early because we want to beat the Sunday morning rush out of traffic because it's bank holiday and everyone drives on a bank holiday weekend, especially in London. So, um, yeah, we're going to set off now. I think it takes us about an hour and 50 to get there in total, so that's not bad. I will catch up with you guys when we're there because it's going to be a lot of, I think we're going to go to Ikea, do a bit of painting, assembly some furniture. Um, yeah, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be nice to see Curtis as well. And he's new aboard. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys when we're there. to Southampton and we're in Ikea at the moment. We're going to do a little bit of a shop for Curtis. Oh wow, this is nice. It's nice to come to a different Ikea. This is the excitement that we're leading now, guys. We're actually coming to a new Ikea, apart from the one we come in London. 
Zara's just spotted this kitchen, so it's really nice. I never used to like the Explores glass in kitchens, but now I'm starting to warm to it. I'm contemplating all these things when we move. Really nice. Curtis is sofa shopping. We've just seen this little L shape here, which is lovely. I think these are new to IKEA and they come in lots of different fabrics. Truly, one of the things we're most excited about when we move is that we can actually get like new things and so new sofas, like a new rug. <laughs> Obviously, we're on Operation House Save at the minute, so these are completely off bounds, but still nice to look. They've got lots of new bits in that we actually haven't seen in London, which is lovely. These wicker chairs are fantastic. I've never seen these before. It's like a rocking chair. Just came into this little dining room area. We love this rug. It's like a parquet chevron rug with the parquet flooring. This is something we're definitely considering getting in our new place when we move because it's just so lovely. The whole setup just looks so smart. Love these lights as well. These like frosted mid-century lights they're wonderful there's something about the way that ikea just design rooms that just make it look so cozy with such a small amount of space they're wonderful this is this is so lovely just came into this little cozy section it's so nice this sofa how much is it it's 850 that is a very very nice sofa i love the rug as well we used to have one like this in our old flat the green fireplace is really nice too love this this is my idea of heaven. Oh my goodness. One dear. So we're in the glass section and I really like these decanters. These are really lovely. I don't really drink a lot of whiskey, but I think they're quite cool. Ikea's glassware is really good. We've got some great little designs going on. Look at those, that's quite nice. Curtis has got a bit of a haul going on already. He's got some cutlery, some little napkin bits. Very nice, very nice. We've gone into the throw and cushion section now. How excited are you? They're in a different Ikea or opposed to our normal I one. <laughs> We've just walked into this wonderful shower situ here. We love these, like, they were like a vintage wash style tile. They're so nice. With the his and hers sinks and the black subway tile with this. This is just so our style of bathroom. It's wonderful. Zara is not to be trusted navigating a trolley through the aisles of Ikea. <laughs> They have a huge floristry section in this Ikea, which we don't have in London. Look how cool this is, it's massive. Got all of the artificial flowers in here. It's like a shop, it's amazing. Got lots of bonsai and terraniums. These look really cool. I love this vase, this is a really lovely vase. These are really cool, they're like Greek Mykonos style Spanish pots, they're lovely. Greek Mykonos Spanish. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of like, they're like Mediterranean stuff. Yeah, Mediterranean, lovely. Like clear pots, I think they're so nice. I do like this glassware though, I'm really feeling this. We're investigating the plant section, these yuccas are amazing. This is the one that our friend Sam gave us, so it was very grateful because they're usually £22 and they're quite easy to keep alive. Curtis, I think, yeah. is going to get one for his bedroom. So macho, he's gotta be so macho. <laughs> So we've came into Matalan to check out some of their homeware bits. They've got really good homeware and it's actually a very good price as well. A lot of plant things, let me show you. So they've got all of these like wall fixtures which are really nice. Kind of like industrial vibes, like £10. But these are quite cool as well, like the circular disc ones. They've got lots of tall plant stands for 14 And these which are 45 Really, really nice. I really like these wicker plant baskets as well. These are really cool. These are 20 Really nice. So I was just spotted these big, like, hurricane-style lanterns with little handles on top. They're £20, but look how nice they are. I think if you had some stair, like, stair space, like a hallway, they'd be lovely. Got some really nice wicker baskets as well, which are quite cool. They're really nice. It's quite a nice mirror as well with the leather strap. It's 20 Really nice. All right, Zara, you can lead the way, honey. So we have finished up in Ikea and also finished up in Matalan and Wilco. And now we're off to get some lunch because I'm absolutely starving. So we're going to a place called Bill's, which I love. So um, we just need to try and find it. We're inside a shopping center, so obviously that's why we're still masked up. I'm very hungry. We've got hand sanitizer on the tables, ready to go. I love that, gonna get a bit of that. Yes, please. So I've gone for the um, beetroot wellington with some sweet greens gravy and also some sweet potato fries. And Zara's gone for a mac and cheese. I'm so ready for this. Literally haven't eaten all day, so I'm going to dig in. Very nice. Okay, so 
Okay, so we're back from having lunch in town. It was absolutely delicious. Refueled, re-energized, ready for a bit of DIY. Um, we're inside Curtis's house now, which is it's very lovely. It's a wonderful, wonderful house. Um, I've just done a bit DIY, let me show you. So I've just put up this mirror from This is actually from Ikea. And then we got these two picture frames as well. So this looks really nice. And then this is a little plant on the side that's looking really very green. We saw another dining area as well. Now my job is to assemble these bedside tables. So we've got two bedside tables and I'm really good at flat pack so I'm going to put these together and then the noise coming from in there is our and Curtis trying, emphasis on the word trying, to paint the kitchen because but it's um... That is so far, Curtis opens the paint and you hear and went oh that's very white. It's called Brilliant White by Dulux. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then he went to put the lid, he was like <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is great. Oh, God. Basically, we're done in our flat and we've got nothing else to do, so this is wonderful to be able to help. I'll do you on a time lapse. <laughs> everybody I didn't end the vlog yesterday because it ended up being a flurry of flat pack and fiascos because these drawers behind us oh my god they're great but they're a nightmare to assemble so I did two bedside tables a chest of drawers and a mirror which did well and Zara did the kitchen and some tiles as well so it's looking really good and um, we're off to Thorpe Park today which is a theme park so I'm going to take you along for that it's some bank holiday Monday here in the UK which is wonderful because it means we get an extra day away from the work office vibe, which is always a dream. So um, yeah, we're gonna pack up our stuff, say goodbye to Curtis, and then head on the road and pick Sam up on the way, which is really nice because he's gonna be coming along as well. He's coming from London and he's meeting us halfway. This is exciting. So we made it to Thought Park. We've still got our masks on, even though it's an outdoor park. I think it's just best to keep them on when there's like a lot of people around. Um, in the queue. Well, it was quite busy, but obviously it's a bank holiday, so it makes sense. But we're here and the sun's shining, which is lovely. We're gonna go get a coffee and a little bite to eat for breakfast. So we have got a coffee. I feel like I'm alive again. Zara's has treated us to a latte, treated us. And we've also got some cinnamon churros. This is our breakfast. And this is um, some kind of water ride going on. I would say, so far I'm impressed in terms of the COVID safety measures, but it's very, sparse, a big park, so you kind of cross distance. If you wear masks, wear appropriate. Obviously in outdoor spaces you're fine, but when you go a little bit more busy, mask up. But so far it's great. Right, that was insane. We just did our first roller coaster with a mask on. You have to wear masks. Sorry, mine keeps on slipping down. When you're on a roller coaster you have to wear these. And mine slid into my mouth because we went upside down. It's very stressful, but we did it. So this is what we've gone for for lunch. We've gone for a falafel wrap. It's nice that they're starting to do veggie options. I've got some fries and Zara got some chili fries as well. So I'm gonna dig in. This looks so tasty. So we just went on the um, stealth. Stealth is the roller coaster that like propels you. It's the one behind us. It goes very fast. Makes you feel a little bit sick <laughs> because you go that fast. It's kind of like when you go over a, um, a dip in the road. It was brilliant though. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, now I'm going to do some Did you guys hear that? Literally, we just got off that ride and apparently there's now an issue with it. That's lucky, but I feel so sorry for the people in the queue now. So we're now going to go on the water rapids, which look very good. It's right next to Stealth, which is what we were just done. These are really cool. Hopefully we don't get too wet. We're now on the rapids, and um, it's a pretty tame thing. You've just got to remain seated throughout, but we did this last year and got a bit wet, which was quite nice because it was boiling, whereas this is um, slightly we cooler. Get too wet, so I'm hoping no. we're not going to get dry. It's going to be all right. It's going to be fine. He says, as we pick up speed, it goes... Oh, <laughs> 
So we are done in Thorpe Park, we're calling it a day, we've been here since 10am and it's like 5 o'clock now so we want to beat the London traffic. Just to say a massive thank you to Thorpe Park for inviting us down, it's been an absolutely splendid experience, I felt really safe throughout the whole trip which was fantastic, um, definitely do recommend it, I'll leave a link down below for any of you guys who've got a plan for the rest of the year. We're going to head back to London now, make some dinner and have a chill evening. Okay, so we have just got back to London and oh my goodness, it was a really fun day, really really fun day. It was. I'd say slightly busier than we anticipated, but it was still manageable. I felt safe, which was brilliant, very clean. Back home now, and we're cooking some dinner. Well, actually, Zara's cooking me dinner, which is wonderful, because I was just editing a picture from the trip to post on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I know there's a couple of new people, I'll leave my handle on the screen right now. We're having pasta this evening on the floor. <laughs> I'll show you what Zara's making. So we didn't really have a great deal in the fridge, but what we did have was some courgettes and uh, some onions. So I quickly nipped into a Sainsbury's on the way home. We also had some spinach, so we're gonna do a garlic, oh, this, this cream cheese is amazing. It's a garlic and herb cream cheese. We're gonna mix that with some pesto and do like a really creamy pasta. And the pasta we're using is rigatoni. So Zara's gonna be cooking this for me. Well, I am gonna help. Do you remember help. when you used to have this? When we used to have this all the Pretty time? Pretty much all the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like yeah. We'd have this with chicken, so we're doing courgette instead. Um, a little bit of chili and mustard, just, oh, it's so good, guys. Like, I will leave the recipe to something similar down below, but it's just, we both said we're in the mood for some kind of like creamy pasta, so yeah, it's a dream. So in the pan, we've got some red onion, some garlic, and some courgette, and so I was just softening all that down. And then we're gonna add a splash of some white wine. The white wine is just really nice, it's a dry white wine, so it kind of just gives the sauce a lovely flavor. So just cook off the alcohol, and then we're gonna add in some mushrooms, and some lemon zest, the pesto and the cream cheese. There's just lots of flavor going on, it's fantastic. So we now have our creamy, beautiful sauce. So we added in the uh, garlic cream Philadelphia cheese, and we also stirred in around three teaspoons of pesto. We're gonna add some of the pasta water in. Some lemon zest has already been added in as well. And then we're gonna stir in some of this fresh British spinach. And that is your dinner sorted. Dinner is served. This looks amazing, Zara smashed it out of the park. We're having it with some garlic bread. Like This is one of my all time favorite, favorite dinners. And we've got Netflix on and we're about to watch Selling Sunset, which we're about to start selling, um, season three? Season three, it's really good. If you've never watched it, it's great. It's like trashy American TV, but it's, it's wonderful. Trashy. I mean, I'd say it's quite trashy. It's like trashy, but bougie. On season three, it's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here. We've just finished up watching Sun and Sunset. Dinner was absolutely delightful. I really hope you have enjoyed. Oh, do excuse my laundry, it's just trying here. I really hope you have enjoyed watching along. It's been quite an eventful weekend. As always, if you have enjoyed it, do smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.